and good. So we had a question about the Elson Pike. Uh, what our what was asked is if you're sitting in this position and you push and you can't get your legs off the ground, what should you do instead? Uh, now this isn't actually meant to be an ab exercise so much as it is, it's a way to strengthen hip flexors. The reason you're probably not able to get your feet off the ground is because your hamstrings are too tight. So something you can do in the meantime is kind of work on that hamstring flexibility. The banded hamstring stretch is a good place to start. The other thing you can do if you're not able to get this up and you want to do the uh, exercise is actually bend your knees and scoot a little bit further away from the wall. So this is going to give you a little room to move. Put your fingers on the ground and try to pull those knees into your chest. Same thing, if this doesn't work, you can kind of bump your hands up a little bit or you can get a little bit further away. Now, I don't want you to be sitting like this because it kind of defeats the, the purpose of this, but we're trying to close that gap and hike through here. If you're feeling a kind of cramping and burning in your quads and you know you're doing it the right way, ideally we're being able to sit and really pull up from here. So I hope that helps.